E. You ought to take on vitamin D. We find in doing our vitamin tests on vitamin D on people, very low levels of vitamin D in all our guests. And for some reason, and I don't know why, more conventional doctors have been enamored by this whole vitamin D deal. You find doctors, I talk to doctors that are very conventional, but they know about vitamin D. I don't know what happened. Why all of a sudden they got interested in vitamin D, but they did. And, and uh, so anyway, you want to keep your levels up above 50 for sure, maybe up above 75. And so that usually takes 5,000 international units to 10,000 a day. And then you get it checked again. So, but that will, in the times that people have their problems with vitamin D is really during winter months because they're not out and it's dark and particularly people that live in the northern climes, they get, it affects the way you think. They get sad, which is called seasonal affective disorders. And they get, when, the, when is the flu season and all that? When does all that happen? That happens in, in the winter. And more people die during the winter they do during the summer. All that has to do with, with uh, energy that the sun, what we do is we take the sun's energy and the sun's energy comes through our skin in ultraviolet light and it, it hits cholesterol and it turns cholesterol into vitamin D. Cholesterol is a building block of vitamin D. And vitamin D is basically really like a hormone. All your hormones are made from cholesterol. So we think cholesterol bad. Well, cholesterol is very important. It's made by the liver. We make 80% of our cholesterol in our body and it's the building block for your hormones. It's the building block for all your sex hormones, your adrenal hormones, and it's your building block for your vitamin D. It's very, very important. 